It is a room filled with PDP big wigs. The enthusiasm ahead of the Saturday National Convention here is palpable. It is less than five days before decision day for the party, a day many believe will determine the future of the main opposition party. The Kataka Committee inaugurates the different groups that we organize the Saturday election. Some members of the main committee, which has the governor of Delta State, Ifani Okoa, as the chair, while governor of Taraba State, Daros Ishaku, as the deputy chairman. Other committees are also inaugurated. An inauguration done. The chairman of the Kataka Committee says, in recent times, there have been defections by prominent personalities. The most recent is that of the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, adding that there will be a level playing field for all members. The burden of organizing a free, fair and transparent convention steered the party in the face. And these two men of the Central Committee are confident of a good outing. Our members have indeed suffered a lot, and so the process of reconciliation was a little bit uh, easier than anticipated. What I can actually offer is that by the special grace of God, the committee will conduct an election that will be blameless, an election that will be transparent, free and fair. As the inauguration was going on in the nation's capital, the executive committee of the South South Zone are meeting in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, to fine tune preparations and put up a common voice for the zone at a convention. The zone equally advises its members not to malign any aspirant from other geopolitical zones and equally asks other zones to respect the integrity of the South South Zone. Amidst all other positions in the party, the PDP top job will be keenly contested on Saturday and the South-South and the South-West zones are not letting down their guards. For some of the South-West aspirants, the region deserves the chance. The chairmanship of the PDP now has gone beyond individual interests. It has become a Yoruba agenda. 7.5 million registered voters are in Lagos State. Can you, can you wish that away? After years of crises, the PDP will be looking forward to a glorious future where it can give the ruling party a run at the 2019 polls. But that may not happen if it fails to organize a successful national convention on Saturday, the 9th of December, 2017. Shion Wakimbalui, Channels Television News.